Eat Alexandra again. We got Moku, Pelter, Rogue Spec. Is that the guy we we're missing? And then we got a Terry. We got basically the agility group and one strength class out of nowhere. Actually, he, he kind of passes an agility class. He got like that, that hat. You got the katanas. Basically, an agility class. We got Bestimer again. Uh oh. We got Fortin. Gnome coming back in. Sajuk and Zakari. All right. So we got Bestimer. The Bestimer, dude. I like watching that guy play. He was insane, man. Where's Deb, by the way? Where is Deb when you need him? <laughs> what up, pro gamer? How you doing, my man? It looks like it's gonna be Fortune coming in off the bat. I guess the Terry gonna get a touch of death into the stone with all of his images. Actually gonna be able to get a big damage in. Hopefully, maybe line up with a Fist of Fury afterwards. The touch of death is gonna take in just a second. Oh, it did actually. But a Terry didn't lose that much health. I don't even know what happened. That was a touch of death, and the Terry's health is basically recovered, unless he's just leeching while in demon form, which might be it. Gonna get her in prison, short in prison onto Fortune. Maybe he can get some big stun damage out right afterwards. And he's gonna go for an eye beam. Fortune is still just trying to line away from him. And that's gonna be Terry getting up close and personally gets a stun. Just kind of knocking himself off the platform for a second. Fortune is still on the run from this demon hunter, man. This is just on the run. He's trying to cycle through his cooldowns. Dropping lower and lower little by little. Might have to pop Karma here very soon. Trying to get heals. That's going to be a stun. Check a stun out of the Demon Hunter. That's going to be a touch of Karma that's going to be hit onto Echeri as he gets a Blade Dance on Fortin. And Echeri's just going to pop... Uh, what is it? Blur? Yeah, just gonna pop blur as Fortune tries to get some damage. And as Fortune is looking for heals, Echeri is just getting the kick. Fortune is still just running from this menace. While well, Leteri is just on the chase, man. He's on the prowl. He's cycled through all of his cooldowns. Rotating his defenses. Unfortunately, finally was able to catch some breath and heal up a little bit. Leteri is out of a trinket, so it's going to be Fortune getting able to stun up Leteri. Does get a disarm as Leteri charges at Fortune. So I guess it's pretty good. Fortune's still playing very defensively. Trying to find recovery. Again for Vivifies whenever available. But Leteri is just able to hit through the pillar, apparently. He's just hitting through the pillar. Gets to engage with Fortune, but the in-cap is going to be there. And Fortune is still just playing as defensively as possible. It does Dragon Kick to the other side of the pillar. At least Monk's mobility didn't change, did it? That's going to be a stun into an I-Beam for a Terry, into a Blade Dance. But Fortune is just still continuing to run. That's going to be a touch of death for Fortune. does get a stunned by a Terry. And Terry dropping down Darkness. But he's actually going to have to eat that touch of death outside of Darkness. Big damage coming out onto a Terry out of nowhere. Blur available yet again. And Fortune just making his way over to the side of the pillar. Going to go for Vivifies again and again. This is something he can do over a Terry. He just needs to get in, get Burst DPS, lower down his health whenever possible. And then back to running as much as possible. So he's just gonna stand there. Is this guy healing? Did he heal somebody? He was cast a flashlight. Hopefully he wasn't trying to heal Fortune or anything. Fortune actually gets a lockout onto a Terry. That's gonna be Karma again as he gets stunned up. That's actually pretty good. And Terry's trying to do what he can not to hit into that Karma. That's just way too much health that he can just all his damage can just revert back. Blade Dance to follow, trying to get some damage, dropping Fortune to about half health, and Fortune back to kind of behind Pillar. No, just completely juked him out. Looked like he was going to the other side of the Pillar, but he poured it backwards. Not like it was an issue for Terry. He just did a couple leaves back, and now he's basically on top of Fortune, while coming out for the poor monk. Trying to get some damage little by little. Incap came in onto a Terry for a moment, but I think he broke it himself. Wall is still up. Dampen Harm is out too. He just popping defenses right after one and the other. Trying to outlive the DH, but DH is gonna land a stun. That's gonna be a trick out of Fortin. It's gonna go for Vivify, trying to reheal. But Terry is still in the prowl. This match isn't over. This is not over yet. This could be anyone's game. Although Terry's health is low enough where Fortin could have a big turnaround. Disarm coming in, so Terry is not gonna be able to follow up with offensive power. Imprison onto Fortin, who's gonna get a first stun. That is gonna be a trinket out of a Terry. Not sure what he trinketed. 
That was big damage out of Fortune though coming out with all those images. Is able to get up close and personal. Stun coming in. Terrence is going to go for a counter pressure. And that's going to be big karma for Fortune. With Terrence the one playing defensive. Both of these guys are just running all game. And Terrence is going for blade dance. But that's actually just going to counter back into him. Fortune's trying to catch up. Trying to take out Terrence while he has him a little bit. Barely any health. And a bit of karma took him out. That was like the weirdest duel ever. Just a lot of running back and forth. But Fortune is still hanging in there, man. As a class without any kind of good healing or any kind of good p passive damage, all about burst. That was a rough one. Moku's up next. Does get hit with a stun off the bat. I think Fortune's just trying to get CC on these guys while he's lining, while he's running. He's playing to win, man. He's playing as much as he can. And that's going to be a charge as Fortune tries to drag him kick away. The duels have lasted long enough where it's a 1% dampening. That's going to be wall coming up for Fortune, but it's still in the execute phase. Moku going to disarm, but he's going to go for that fear. So you can get a charge in and gets a big damage onto Fortune. Is he going to be able to execute him? Fortune's still hanging in there. No execute quite yet. Fortune's actually trying to go counter pressure right now. Trying to get some big damage in. Trying to continue healing himself. He's in a fat execute range. Oh no! Just gets charged in and knocked down. Zikari's going up next. Trying to get Moku out of the competition as soon as he can. I think Rogue Spec accidentally hit evasion. Hopefully he's not going up next. Moku is barely, barely surviving. Everything Zikari's throwing at him. Does have big heals available. He's got to try to go for a back-to-back -back stun, but Mocha still had a bit of an opportunity to grab a heal. But, oh my god, the necrotics are just going to melt him. Sakati won that one. So the question is now, who's up next? It is going to be Pelter as a Boomkin. Gets a mass root onto Zikari. It's going to get a few. Oh no, not going to get any of those solo brads. Going to go for Luna Strikes. That's going to be a big AMS for Zikari. For Pelter, this is good. AMS is no longer going to be available. So Zikari might actually die here. Trying to get some beam cannon. Orbital beam cannon from up the sky. Pelcher is kind of melting over there with the dots and the pet little by little. A lot of his damage was kind of out. Is forced to drop a starfall onto Zakati to maintain Zakati's health at least somewhat low. I keep I keep switching back to the demon hunter when I mean to go back to Zakati. That's gonna be stunned onto Pelcher. Trinket coming out. So that's what it looks like Zakati wanted to force. He wanted to force the trinket out of Pelcher, making sure to redot him. So for Pelcher, this is gonna be a pretty good match as long as he has healing, but that incarnation is gone, man. It's gone. I think he needs to force Zakari out in the middle of the open. Get a bunch of star surges in there. But he might still be able to pull it out. He might still be able to pull it off. Zakari spots Pelter. They're exchanging dots as always. And for Zakari, what he's trying to do right now is just wait for another stun setup. Trying to keep Pelter slow. Trying to get his big setup going. Was that a pet resummon? That actually might have been a pet resummon. Or something along those lines. That's going to be Thorns, which Zakari has AMS for. So it's a pretty good counter. Zakari doesn't have to deal with this at all. But just trying to get some beam orbital cannon going for onto Zakari. Trying to generate as much resources as he can. Maybe he can turn it around. Bark skin coming out, but Zakari is just out of range to do some damage right now. Just out of range. So that bar skin is going to be there for the apocalypse. There's going to be a big army of undead doing damage to Pelcher. He's trying to heal while dampening is only 15%. As dampening is just going to keep climbing higher and higher. Zikari is just getting big necrotic strikes onto Pelcher. And Pelcher is trying to go for a heal. Zikari denies him that even. Even though it's going to heal Zikari, he denies him any kind of healing, putting so much pressure on the druid. And as he has thorns up, no way to just self-heal, even if he's going to heal. He's just going to heal Zikari! His necrotics are so big, his health isn't going anywhere! He's literally just healing Zikari! And he's going to go down! No, got himself a huge heal! And it's actually Zikari's health that's low now. Out of nowhere, because Zikari is just taking dot damage. But just getting hit with a stun, I wish he had a trinket! Zikari barely escaped it, barely has any health! And Rogue Spec as a subtlety just coming in and snipes him out as a subtlety rogue should. And Bessemer is up next, getting a slow onto Rogue Spec. That's gonna be a cheap shot, trinket out of Bessemer. And that's gonna be a trinket out of the rogue as well. He can go for a blind. That's a big execution sentence. Bessemer is trying, trying to end them right now. Rogue Spec is trying to go for a heal. Evasion is up and running. Can Bessemer just end them? That's a big execution sentence that was up. Clock of Shadows and Rogue Spec is just trying to bail out of there. Blind coming onto Bessemer. And Bessie is just gonna have to play with this rogue, man. He's gonna have to play the rogue tactics, huh? Oh my god. I actually thought Zakari was gonna die because I saw his health like going down little by little. I'm like, what is Spell to do to him? He's not gonna be able to do that much damage. I'm just gonna be stunned out of Bessie No, he dropped down. Might still be able to get a lot of damage onto Rogue Spec, though. Rogue Spec is gonna sprint around the boxes. Just going to try to use the line aside, but for whatever reason, Bessie could just still hit through the wall. He still, can still hit through the boxes. I don't understand that. And this is going to be a restyle for Rogue Spec, but Bessemer is literally right next to the eye. 
Will you be able to see him? That is the question. We'll see, we'll see. So for Oakspec, literally he doesn't do that much damage unless you get the big setup. So honestly, I can't blame him for sitting in stealth. But it's gonna be Rogue Get ahead with the slow. That's gonna be big execution sentence. Gets a full kidney onto Bessemer and Trick it coming out for Bessemer very soon. Cheap shot. Trick it out of Bessemer. Rogue has all the damage in the world. Trying to pump it into Bessemer as much as he can. But Bessemer's damage is way higher. Full Hodge coming in. And Bessemer getting a huge, big damage. Flash of Light towards the end. He's gonna be able to execute him right then and there. And gonna get himself a few flash of lights while it's 31% damp. But he has to go against the rogue now. Another rogue assassination. Bessemer trying to commit with a big. Big shield of vengeance. Trying to get some big damage onto Alexandra. And Alexandra was just able to light it completely. Sap coming in. I think it actually still might have dinged Alexandra. I could have been wrong. Because it looks like his health might have went down little by little. Both of the eyes are down. This is going to be best from versus assassination rogue. Keeping the rogue out in the open. So you can't just run around behind boxes as soon as possible. That's going to be Alexandra still trying to wait out until he can get a full kidney. There's going to be big damage by uh, by best moment to Alexandra. Drop it into a half health and you saw the rogue trinket, evasion, cloak, everything. And just get the hell out of there. <laughs> that was a rogue who did not expect the paladin burst. Because... I mean, Bessemer, like, as soon as you see wings, you should just shrink it instant, like, Cloak of Shadows or something. Evasion or anything, because that's going to be a lot of damage. A lot of just holy straight-up damage. We do have Alexander getting open onto Bessemer. Not open up with a kidney or anything. Going for Garot, set up, trying to get a kidney at a later time. There's going to be Execution Sentence onto Alexander, though. Sees the Execution Sentence, trying to get away. Kidney coming out. There's going to be Bessemer getting out of that. Hodge coming in. Alexander has no trinket available. That's going to be Shield of Vengeance. Will it pop in Alexander's face? He just might! It does, but that cheat death vanish coming out. Oh, Alexandra still is able to live with that cheat death vanish. Even though there was a blind into Bestimate, that's a bop. Trink it down. No, no eye available. You can check the other eye. For Alexandra, it's all about waiting out, man. 42% dampening. If he wants to beat this paladin, that's all he could do. Literally just dancing. He's like, I, I'm not, I, I want to win. I want to win, so I'm just going to dance around, waste some time. I can't blame this guy, man. I can't blame him. It's like the cards are against him. Because Bessemer, he just needs like a short moment to get big damage. Unless Alexander has like the big setup, he can't really do much. And Bessemer is just going to sit against the wall. Alexander is just going to go for food, I think, for a second. Or just sit down for a moment. Good opener by Alexander the Hodge. And that looks like it's going to be it. Bessemer is just going to take out a rogue. No cheat death available. And that's it. <laughs> Yo, I thought the Terry duel versus Fortune was actually pretty awesome. Just so much mobility, just zooming back and forth. Hmm, <laughs> fun denied fact. <laughs>